In the last tutorial, we learnt about for loop in one dimension. So we have seen if we want to uh, print something or in sequence in either one of the columns or in one of the rows. So how we can control uh, the loop statements? We generally require uh, one single loop for that. It may be a for loop, it may be for each loop, or it may be do a while or do until. In this case, we'll see if we want to print something in two dimension. By two dimension, I mean that I want to print something row wise as well as column wise. So let's say I want to print uh, uh, something like one and then one, 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 one. I want to print this in a block. Okay. So I need four values here four in second row, four in third row. So there would be one loop which would be iterating through row wise that means for first row and then for second row and then for third row and when it was running for first row it should internally iterate for first column then second and then third and then fourth so this way uh, we can control uh, something in two dimensions so if you open VB editor now let's say I want to print uh, something in the sequence what I can do is there would be one loop That would uh, go up to the row counter so for instance I'm taking R uh, as a variable which will be controlling the row numbers and since for every row I need to uh, repeat the same thing for every column so I take an another loop internally which will be printing values in all the columns so since in this example we have four columns and three rows so for every row it will be repeating the things for one to four four times so you can see here in one loop i have used another loop so this is loop inside another loop this concept is known as nesting of loops but it would uh, become very difficult when you go above three or four levels of nesting so let us see how we print these values now we have seen that we are controlling rows and columns by r and c variable now if you want to print something in row and c uh, and column uh, so you can use r comma c dot value is equal to one always now if we clear this and i uh, when i run this see what happens row is initially one now for first row it will repeat things four times for four columns so first of all for first column in one comma one it writes one then in 1 comma 2 it writes 1 then 1 comma 3 and then 1 comma 4 so it completed its job for first column and first uh, first row and all the columns then it moves to second row and it writes for second row and then for third row once it is over it will move out of the loop so this is how we control things in two dimension in the next set of examples, we'll see a uh, few more things that we can do using for loop. We'll see two, three more examples uh, by which you will be easily understanding the whole concept of uh, applying loops and thinking the logic behind the for loops. Thank you.